Hey everyone, James here from 9 to 5 Software, and today um, we're going to dive into some of the best audio editing software for, well, noise reduction. You know, we've all been there, right? You record something that you're really excited about, but then you play it back and there's this annoying background noise that's uh, just lurking there, kind of ruining the whole vibe. Now, whether it's like um, hiss hot in traffic or, you know, even worse, like construction noise, it can be super frustrating, but um, don't worry because today we're going to check out some amazing software that can really help clean up your audio. And just a quick note before we jump in, in I'll make sure to drop links to all the products we're talking about well, right down there in the description so you can easily find them and you know get your hands on them if something catches your ear. So yeah, let's just get right into it and uh, start making our audio sound silky smooth. All right, let's go. All right, um, so today we're going to talk about Adobe Audition for noise reduction. Hmm. which um, from my experience is pretty top notch. If you've ever dealt with audio editing, you know how crucial it is to get a clean, crisp sound and audition really delivers on that front. Their noise reduction process is like super intuitive. Basically, you just select a part of your track that has the noise you want to get rid of. And then um, you use the noise reduction effect to kind of sample that noise. And the thing is, it's not just a one size fits all kind of deal. Mm. Uh, you get to tweak the settings to ensure you're getting the best result without, you know, accidentally stripping away the parts of the audio you want to keep. Now, um, what I really love about Audition is the spectral frequency display. This might get a bit techy, but stay with me here. It's a visual representation of the sounds, right? So you can actually see the noise separate from the rest of your audio, which is um, super helpful when you need to pinpoint specific frequencies and, you know, surgically remove them without uh, affecting the overall sound quality too much. Um, it can be a bit daunting at first glance because it looks like something out of a sci-fi movie, but once you get the hang of it, it's insanely powerful. But let's talk about the elephant in the room. The price Adobe Audition isn't cheap, and it's a subscription-based model, which um, can be a bit of a turnoff if you're not a professional or if you're just starting out. However, I got to say, if you're serious about audio editing, it's definitely an investment worth considering. There's a reason it's a go-to for so many pros in the industry. And lastly, don't forget, it's not just about the noise reduction. Adobe Audition is packed with a ton of other features as well. So once your noise is handled, you've got all these other tools at your disposal to make your audio sound um, even better. Overall, I'd say if you've got the budget for it and you're going to use it to its full potential, Adobe Audition is absolutely one of the best out there for cleaning up your audio. All right, guys, so let's talk about Audacity which um, if you haven't heard about it, it's this pretty fantastic open source audio editing software. It's been around for ages and, you know, it's just perfect for handling all sorts of audio tasks. But today I really want to focus on its capabilities for noise reduction. So when you got some background noise, like mm, say a, a pesky hum from an air conditioner or um, some random clicks and pops in your recording, Audacity can be like a real lifesaver. Now the noise reduction feature um, is super user friendly once you get the hang of it. You know, you start off by selecting a small portion of the audio that has the noise and nothing else. Very important. You don't want any actual like vocal or whatever you're trying to preserve in that sample. Then you go to the effect menu, select noise reduction, and hit get noise profile. It's basically Audacity learning what it needs to filter out. Then select the whole track, go back to noise reduction, and apply it to actually reduce the noise across the board. There can be a bit of bit of trial and error though and uh, I want to be upfront about that sometimes you might overdo it and get that kind of underwater warbly sound so um you've got to play around with the settings like the noise reduction level and the sensitivity they have sliders so it's not too intimidating you just have to you know listen carefully and adjust until you find the right balance without um, affecting the audio quality too much and what's also cool is that it's not just for um noise reduction of like your regular old recordings you can use Audacity for cleaning up audio for podcasts, voiceovers, even music recordings. And since it's free, it's like an amazing tool for beginners and folks working with um, a tight budget. Just keep in mind, it may not be as, let's say, sleek or fast as some of the paid professional software out there. But for most users, it's more than up to the task. So yeah, definitely um, give Audacity a try for your noise reduction needs. So um, today we're going to take a good look at Isotope MERX. Mm -hmm. which is honestly one of the best tools out there for noise reduction in audio files. Now, if you've ever dealt with like 
background noise, clicks, hums, or any other unwanted sounds in your recordings, you know how frustrating it can be, right? What's really cool about RX is that it's packed with powerful features that sort of make it super easy to clean up your audio. Um, let me start with the most impressive thing about RX, which is, of course, is noise reduction capabilities. The software uses this advanced spectral analysis to uh, identify and isolate noises. So whether you have a Pesca air conditioner mm -hmm. in the background or the sound of traffic from an open window, RX can handle it. It's got these different modes and sliders that you can adjust to pinpoint the exact type of noise you want to remove without, you know, affecting the actual quality of the audio you want to keep. And uh, not to forget the user interface of RX, it's quite intuitive. Even if you're new to audio editing, you'll find that with a little bit of uh, playing around, you can figure out how to use the basic features. But yeah, there is a learning curve when it comes to the more advanced stuff. But once you get the hang of it, it feels like you've got a superpower to clean any audio mess that lands on your desk. Lastly, it's important to mention that Isotop RX isn't just for noise reduction. The software is a full-fledged audio editor with a ton of other restoration capabilities. Like it can help with clipping, distortion, and even stuff like reverb removal. So it's kind of an all-in-one tool for anyone looking to produce clean, professional sounding audio. Overall, RX might seem a bit pricey, but um, for what it offers, it's actually a pretty solid investment for serious audio work. All right, guys, that pretty much wraps up my take on some of the best audio editing software for noise reduction. Um, I really hope you found this overview helpful. I know how frustrating it can be, you know, dealing with all that background noise in your recordings. But with these tools, I think you'll be making crystal clear audio in no time. Now, don't forget, if you want to give any of these software programs a shot, hmm, I've gone ahead and dropped the links for you right in the description below. So, you know, make sure to check those out. If you enjoyed the video or found it helpful, I'd love it if you could hit that subscribe button. It really helps the channel out. And hey, if you have any questions, like maybe you're stuck on something or there's a feature you're not sure about, just leave me a comment below. I'm pretty good at getting back to those and I love being able to help out. Also, I've got a ton of other videos, um, tutorials, reviews, lots of stuff on the channel that you might be interested in, so be sure to check those out as well. Thanks so much for watching, guys. I hope you have an awesome day. And um, yeah, I'll see you in the next video. Catch you later.